another episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. Now I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for a movie 18 years in the making, I think. I have to read more into it. Yeah, and more that to it. is The Matrix Resurrections. Yes. Yes, so it has been, like said, it has been 18 years since the last Matrix movie by the Wachowskis, and a lot has changed. This one, yeah, and, and this one so far is not being done by both the Wachowskis. Now, there is explanation. Um, this is being done by one of Wachowski's sisters. La, yeah, Lana Wachowski. Uh, the reason is um, Lily just is taking a break from the industry because of going through her full transition, and then on top of that, shooting all the, st the between stuff they had, like uh, Sensei well, this, 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 this is still a Wachowski, though. Yeah, it's still a Wachowski project overall, yeah, but not, Lana yeah. is the main one at the helm, this one. Yeah. So, she yeah. Because they both did, didn't they both transition, I think? Um, one of them transitioned, and uh, I think a few years later, the other one transitioned. Yeah, well. Lana is the first one that would. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Lily went through the transition. During that transition, they had to shoot back to back with Sensei and Cloud Atlas, and she's yeah. taking a break from the industry, and that's why Lana's taking the full reins on this one. Well, Lana's the one I know that did Sensei. So, yeah, let's so let's, let's talk about that. Um, Wachowski's post Matrix have had, a lot, have had hits and misses. Oh, yes. You know, you got uh, Cloud Atlas, Jupiter Ascending. Since 8 was one or more well received stuff between that's the films. A, that, yeah, that was that series. They even got a proper where to a proper movie finale for this show. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a great series. I definitely suggest for people. It became it, it created a huge fan basis behind it, and I was one of those. Me and my wife were pretty much were one of those uh, uh one of those fan bases. We loved it. We love how it was set up, and we love how it was all good to go. But so yeah, um, returning yeah. only three returning yeah. from live right on IMDb. It's of course uh, of course Keanu Reeves returning as. Yeah. Neo? We'll explain about that after the trailer. Uh, we had uh, Carrie Ann Moss, of course, mm -hmm. returning. Weird. As Trinity. Yeah. As Trinity. And of course, um, Jay P. Smith returning as Niobe. Yes. Um, so, last, I can't believe I'm saying this 18 years later, last time on the Matrix Revolution, uh, Matrix. Yeah, I get to this point because I know a lot of people are waiting to see how sure. Last time Matrix Revolutions, Neo sacrificed, um, so, so to the machines in order to stop yeah. Agent Smith from wiping out all what was left of them. Mm -hmm. And now the question is, why are we back with Neo when, as far as we know, he's dead? Yeah, it's like, what's going on here? So let's dive into this <clears throat> for the official HBO Max trailer to the Matrix Resurrections. So here we go. Thomas. You seem particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? Oh, yeah, he plays a psychiatrist. Dreams that aren't just dreams. Am I crazy? We don't use that word in here. This song, Alice. Back to where it all started. Go back to where. Back to the Matrix. 
Matrix. Oh, shit. Back to where, going back to where it all started. God damn, we got this, and then like five, we got, what was it? What was, uh, what was it like? Spider Man, and then like eight days later, we got this. Over a week later, we got this. This is in Christmas is gonna be insane at the theaters. Okay, so um, we did hear we did read descriptions about the full like way longer this trailer they did show, mm-hmm. and based on what this said, what was shown, it's cool. They got the guy from the Candyman, new Candyman film, the play. Yeah, yeah, he Marcus. plays also Black Mantis. Yeah, he he would be at him playing a young Morpheus in this. Yeah, he very. Yeah, that's why a lot of people are like confused. Uh, they're, they're, everyone's like trying to figure out. Uh, you know, if this is a prequel or is this more still a sequel? I can, I can see the concept because remember, Morpheus always believed in the one. You know, the one that would save them That's all. why it would make sense if it was a prequel, but then it, at the same time, you look at it going, it could still be a sequel at the same time where it's like there's more to it, it's, you know? It's like in a weird way, this is the same Neo we saw at the end of uh, Revolution. Yeah. But in a weird way, going full circle, he's the one who makes Morpheus believe in the one. That's why I said, maybe, maybe there's some type of time travel-ish type of thing that they, they figure out to, to maybe go back and, to, you know, convince like, Morpheus. Because I don't think, because in the, they did a Matrix video game, online video oh, yeah. game, where they continued it, and they were kind of at like a, the machines and the humans in the real world were at like a, not standstill, what's the term where like, they're not fighting each other, but if they, one of them does, it's gonna be like all, oh, I forgot, like a peace. It's a standstill. Like a, like a standstill, like a peace. That's what it is, it's a standstill. They had a standstill, and then things change when, I guess, Lord from Matrix Online is like Morpheus gets killed. Yeah. And that's the entire base of the game, is find out what really happened. Yeah. It's mean, it doesn't seem like they're going that route. No, I, mean, I think they're. I think that's not being connected to this whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, that's that that, that, that part. They're, they're sticking to the films. No, not to um, any of the games or anything like that. But um, that's why I said this could be either way. It could be either. It could be a combination, a prequel and a sequel. You know, where it's like it's like he, they see them doing what they have to do, and then maybe they see the result, ending results. Because yeah. now you have this connection now with not well, not only Neo, but also with Trinity. You know, where it's like they're, they're, you know, their destiny yeah, was um, there. You yeah, know? Trini died getting uh, Neo to the machine's uh, yeah. home base. Yeah, she was um, pretty in a way. She was, yeah, she pretty much died trying to get Neo to where he needed to get to to end everything. So that's why I said I feel like it's a little of both. It that's is it. a continuation Neo story, but at the same time, it is a prequel to the events of the first Matrix film. So. It's like they're setting something up it's where there's, there's more to it than just okay, we got let Morpheus know or try to convince him to believe again you know or at least believe in the one and then somehow okay let's deal with the after effects because that's why I even like even at the end the kind of tease going going back to the matrix you know as if it's like okay here we go again that's why I said I think it's a little bit of it's both. a little bit of both they it's found both. a way if they do it right they found a way to kind of do both a prequel and a sequel at the same time but let's hope they do it right. You know, will it live up to what, you know, the other films have done? Or will it, you know, just, you know, not fall flat, but at least it will just be stale enough where it's like, not a lot of people, you know, got back into it or something like that. So, I don't know. I'm super psyched. I am. I'm like, just hearing it return is fantastic. Um, just to see, just to see even the shot where it's just like, you know, Morpheus, you know, fighting Neo. It's like, you don't know who I am. You know, because last time he was like, he was teaching him. And now yeah. it's the other way around where it's like, he's taking him on. You know, but man, it's just... There's even a shot, I, I, I was spoiled, but it wasn't really a big spoiler. There's a shot, it goes by quickly, but there's a shot, there's, there's a film reel behind it, and it's a shot from the screen of the original Matrix, mm-hmm. the first Matrix film, when Neo was first going under and stuff like that. And it, was a sh- it was a quick shot, pretty much, but yeah, because I saw someone brought it up it was in the stand, so I'm like, oh, okay. But here, luckily, it's just a quick shot from it. I saw so it. It will be interesting to see where they go with this. If this is just some part, some grander plan of bringing back Neo in the long run, or is this is this or or, or or there's more to Neo's story? Uh, what he's got to do to you know, kind of like 
I guess complete the circle or something, you know, like kind of complete everything where there's still more. He just stopped one major massive threat. Now there is another one or something like that. Where they need him back. They need him. Somehow he needs to come back. And that's like, I mean, he's like, it's like, it's like, especially when he meets Trina, it's as if they met each other. It's almost like, well, uh, in the title, Resurrection, as if they were brought back, but now they have to figure out why they were brought back. I, honestly, overall, I'm looking forward to seeing where to go in this. It's something I'm... It's cool I can't to see the agents come back, too. I, it's something I can't believe. I'm, I'm 18 years later, like, coming right back to where it all began. Kind of. We kind don't know yet. We'll, we'll have to see. It's, yeah. cross, it's really, honestly, at this point, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping and praying this does well, because it feels like they want... It's like they did with the first Matrix film, where it's like, once it did well and succeeded, that's when it's like, okay, these are our plans for the other two, and that's when they shot both of those went back to back. So, you know, so, other than that, folks, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share this around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about the Matrix films. Oh, also, in fact, we don't even go to fucking theater to see this because it's going to be on HBO Max as well. Yeah. It's, I think it's the last one for his. Will you go see it in theaters? Or, I mean, go ahead. Continue. Yeah, uh, when it comes to talking about The Matrix, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Now, like I said before, are you going to go, you know, it's just something that you definitely would want to go see and pay in theaters just to see what it does. Are you still a fan? Still a hardcore fan? And what do you think of this trailer? And possibly what's going on in it? Do you think it's a, both a prequel and a sequel? Let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction over Rob, most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, folks, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very surprisingly Matrix-filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and start us at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.